when you're a girl, when you reach secondary education, it becomes more difficult. It seems like when you're in primary education, somehow everybody finds out that, okay, we're doing you a favor, right? And when you reach uh, secondary education and you continue and you're doing well at school, then you have, it's not really something that you feel, but it's insidious, kind of taunting, telling you stuff like, okay, you girl, anyway, what can you do? I mean, you're not, it's, you're not as smart. You're, your, your, your job, I mean, your, your place is not here. You should be learning how to cook and being married, not being there. And most of the time, it's, it's the boys. I mean, education, I mean, you start talking, having discussion about many different subjects, about math or what you have learned, and then out of nowhere, you have that kind of little pit that, that okay, that everything to, to make you think, what the hell am I here for? I mean, I should, I should, I'm also drop out of school and leave. So I came up with the word batonga, which means for me, as I was thinking about it, leave me alone. Get off my back. I can do whatever I want to do, and I can be whoever I decided to be. You ain't going to tell me my fate right now. That's why I call my foundation batonga, which for me, literally, I want the girls to think about that, to, to give them wings to be able to, to achieve the dreams and to do whatever they want to do without anyone impact in that dream. It has been proven that when we educate girls, it raises the GDP of the countries. So what are we waiting for? Everybody understands economics. When it comes to social, people just like, okay, it's just something. But if you start talking about money, you start, start talking about economy, it might raise people's interest to invest in it because they make money. A woman that is educated, it invests in a different way. We have, it has been proven that if even if you give a primary education to a girl, it reduces childbirth, child death at birth. That alone is already a huge achievement. So ask people what they need. Work with the people you want to help. You can't help them because you come from the Western world because you have money. Your money will not bring you any result if the people themselves are not put at the center of it. For them to take lead in their own life, for you to bring your expertise, but let them be human beings with respect. That's one thing that is key to put an end to poverty, to put an end to the, the, patro, uh, the, the patronizing of the rich country, to put an end to guilt. Guilt is not about, it doesn't help anybody. We have to see people as human beings. Whoever you are helping, you can see them as numbers. Don't sit in your office, wherever you are in the world, thinking that you're changing the world if you don't have a human connection, an emotional connection with people. And that is what we are lacking. People just do that, that, to feel good, to put the, their name somewhere. It's not about that. My people are not numbers. They are human beings. And they have dreams. They have the right to be treated as human beings. Thank you.